everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Pao and this is Paw Print TV if you're new here we have a video series called Muna Unbox in which I share my k-pop hauls to you guys because fangirling makes more meaning when we do it together and when we share experiences so for today it's not going to be the similar unboxing that I shared uh, for the past two videos um, of Nuna Unbox. Kasi ang dami kong parcels na dumating. Boring kung mag unbox lang ako or tatanggalin ko sila from their packages. Tapos ako lang yung magre-rejoice, di ba? Para din at least maikwento ko sa inyo kung paano ko sila nakuha, saan ko sila nabili, at paano kayo makakatipid as a fangirl, di ba? Okay, so let's begin. So the first parcel is actually naka plastic cover lang sila. Or sorry, not plastic cover. Naka uh, bubble wrap because I had this delivered via um, same day delivery. So, most often I choose SDD or the same day delivery para makuha ko sila kagad pag dumating na sila. So, normally they don't send it in a um, in a in a wrapping kasi nga Anyway, mabilis lang naman yon. Ilang minuto lang, nasa inyo na yung item. So, in my case, ganito nila pinadala. This one I bought from Kubugi, Philippines. Uh, medyo way overdue na nga ito eh. Kasi ito pa yung mga albums ni Key from Gasoline. So, I have the floppy version. So, I also have the VHS version. Two booklet version. So, one tip that I can give you whenever you are not yet ready, let's say, to remove the plastics of your um, albums is just keep it in the package, in the package parcel. Ito nga ang ganda, oh, kasi in, uh, hindi lang siya basta-basta bubble wrap. It's actually a, um, a bubble wrap that's also a pouch. So, you can just keep it there. And whenever you are ready to admire your albums, then saka mo na sila tanggalin from there. So, ako ibabalik ko muna sila dito para we can wait kung kailan ako makakaoras talaga to like tinker everything or every content that it has. So, for my next one, this is... Um, actually, I have this delivered by via Lazada. Uh, one of the things that I can say is that ang bilis ng delivery nito. Um, Lazada actually offers like um, uh, a priority delivery. If the item can be prioritized and delivered to your doorstep the following day, there is that option. In this case, when I bought this, apparently, before I checked out, nakalagay doon, pwede ko siyang ipa-express delivery or priority delivery. sa microphone, in fairness, it's very maayos yung pagkakapack niya. For a gadget, this is very good yung official store. So, it does have a bubble wrap and it does sit on a bubble bed. It's actually a lapel. Okay, it's a lapel. Sige, tingnan lang natin yung loob para we can see if everything looks great. Later ko na test if it's working. In fairness, it does look nice pa lang. So, you have the... May stickers pa siyang kasama. Parang Apple. So, meron ding manual and warranty. So, inside the bag, that is actually where the microphone is. I hope that it's working. Ayan, yan yung mic. And then... Meron ka ding controls. That's why I bought this. Kasi may control siya. Okay. And then, it does contain, like, some other stuff that can be used in order for you to, um, to make it compatible to your own gadgets. So, my tip, usually, if you shop in Lazada, um, look for reviews. So, yun yung isang tip na ibibigay ko talaga. Look for reviews. Don't just buy it because it's cheap. Um, maraming nagkakaroon ng issues kasi parang yung unang item kagad na nakikita nila na gusto nila, yun yung binibili nila. 
Tapos, kapag binili nila, tapos parang nakakita sila ng uh, problematic pala yung shop because yun nga, late na nila nakita yung reviews or the items do not have reviews at all. So, you have to be very careful with that. Please, whenever you are shopping in, you know, e-commerce platforms like Lazada, please be careful. Read the reviews. They're there because they will help you decide kung okay ba talaga bumili dun sa seller na yon at okay ba talaga yung item na um, binibenta nila. Okay, next. Ito, <laughs> I might not unbox this one right now because this is very huge. This came from, uh, this was sold to me from Yelsha Shop. So, I found Yelsha Shop and I was able to buy um, a very big binder. Literally, like, malaking binder to, guys. I'll make a separate video about that, um, about my posters, about how I take care of my posters. So, meron siyang 30 sleeves na nakalagay. And, um, yeah. So, hindi ko muna to i-unbox, ha. Pero, papakita ko na lang sa isa pang video. So, now... I'll unbox one of the most, one of the rarest, and I mean rare, items that I found. I did not hesitate at all. This parcel right here contains the pamphlets. So in K-pop, it's the photo book. For J-pop, it's actually pamphlets. Yung tawag nila. So pamphlets of Arashi. These are already out of print. And they're rare. You cannot just simply buy them anywhere, especially in the Philippines. And hindi mo rin pwedeng bilhin um, uh, ng mura. Pero, for this one, nakuha ko siya ng mura. Okay, I got this item from Cinnamon Shop. Yeah, I got this from Cinnamon Shop. And... Basically, they are a DTI-recognized um, shop here in the Philippines na nagdadala ng not only K-pop items, but mostly J-pop, which is very rare. Ang hirap-hirap maghanap ng J-pop shop dito sa Pilipinas. So, this is a pamphlet. So, para rin siyang photo book, guys. So, para rin siyang photo book. Ayan. So, ayan. So, I got this pamphlet, um, from their shop. And sobrang mura niya. If you're gonna buy this pamphlet in Mandarake in eBay, you will have to pay somewhere between $40 USD, $40 US dollars to around $50 US dollars. Besh. I got this for less than 10 I got four. So, first, let me just show you. I got their scene photo book. Ayan. Ayan. Yung 2016-2017 tour ng Arashi. So, this is the photo book. And then, I got this, the Digitalian live tour pamphlet. The nice thing about this is that some of the pamphlets are actually sealed. So, ito sealed pa siya. Makikita ninyo, meron pa siyang uh, resealable plastic. This one. So, yun yung mga bagay na mostly hinahunting ko sila talaga if it's not ridiculously expensive because there are items that would be so ridiculous. I mean, for example, like of course, no, may, re may reason naman sila para gawin yun. May reason ng mga sellers para maging sobrang expensive nung mga items nila. Lalo na kung rare at saka kung signed. Kung hindi siya expensive, Okay, if you spot a seller or someone who is doing a quitting sale, as a merch lady, I would often say na okay na yung makatipid ka. Basta, basta mint condition yung mga mabibili mo. And in this case, I got them because they're in mint condition. Basta less than $10 yan. Visit nyo na lang yung shop nung, ni Cinnamon Shop kung saan ko siya nabili. So, there. So, remember lang, whenever you're buying a merch, don't 
hesitate to ask the seller about information. And at the same time, if you are shopping in e-commerce like Lazada or Shopee, always look at the ratings. Yun yung isang magiging payo ko. Para kahit hindi nyo natanungin yung seller, meron na kayong reference. Alam nyo na kung ano yung mga uh, bagay that you have to watch out for regarding the shop or even regarding the item that you're buying. Thank you so much for watching this special unboxing of K-pop and J-pop hauls. If you like it, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more contents like this. And do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get notified for whatever future content I'm going to create. I'll see you next time. Bye! I won't forget how it feels to be loved, to be remembered by someone as special smile.